feature I want to talk about from digital freight matching is from the carrier side. Built into our order planning screen is a, is a button down in the tractor planning session called backhaul. How many, how many of you use that feature? Okay. Okay, wait, wait, I didn't see. I'm looking for one hand, okay, can we? Uh, this has now been built into our system for some, some time. That without leaving your system, you can highlight a truck that's ending up in an area where you don't have a lot of freight coming out of there because you don't end up with many trucks uh, in that area. And this will tap into a centralized database that we've been maintaining for now for several years that has live available load data from other freight brokerage operations that run our system. Now we believe those freight brokers are the cream of the crop. They've invested in, in, in our technology and they're running great uh, operations. They tend to be the better companies to work with. This, uh, you know, one click and it lines up the loads in the order of who's, which loads are closest to the delivery point of that current vehicle that's been highlighted. We'll show you the name and the phone number and who to, who to call for that load. And we show you the average pay information. We can make your uh, dispatchers and driver managers better negotiators. And in my experience, the freight brokers tend to be a whole lot better at negotiation uh, many times than people at the trucking operation. The person at the trucking company wants to keep that truck rolling, uh, you know, sometimes at below cost, right? Uh, maybe you've never seen that happen, but uh, they, you know, the freight broker is, uh, you know, a full-time uh, sales, full-time negotiation. Arming your people in the trucking business with average rate information as recently as last night, uh, which way are the rates trending, can help you uh, be, a, be a better negotiator and help make you a better player in the world of digital freight matching.